Hey guys, Ray again. This week I don't have a build video, but what I do have is a reel-to-reel -reel shaper that we built in the shop for a specialized purpose. And today I'm going to walk you over the whole machine and we can see how it works. Here is the reel-to-reel -reel shaper. Just an overall view. A takeoff table, two power feeders, the shaper head, an additional head, and the take-up roll or the take-up table. So. Let's take a good look now. Because of the nature, I can't tell you what material this is that we're running, why we're doing it this way, who it's for, what the, what the final product does. But what I can show you is that this is a payoff table. So the material sits on this table. And this is a little uh, mechanical clutch. You tighten it up and it will put more or less pressure on the clutch. To Like if I put it more pressure here, you can see it spins more uh, less loosely. I take the pressure off, springs much freer. So the material goes through the fence, which is a bronze guide block, goes through the first power roller. And if you see, we've got this power roller attached here, and then goes through the, the retaining block on one side, through the cutter, and then through the other retaining block. Now this spindle is in the lowered position, uh, normally it's, it'll be in the raised position. The lowered position is for uh, a secondary operation. This is a milling attachment from an old Atlas lathe. We were able to adapt it to attach the router spindle with a little indicator there so you can double check your height and control it very accurately. Then it goes through the, uh, the secondary power feeder. Power feeder, if you'll notice there's some airlines in here. That, those airlines just keep the chips off of the wheels because the chips get on the wheels and then the material slips and the power feeder doesn't work. Uh, so here we have the take up table. So as the material comes through, get this cable out of the way. That's the spindle cable. So as the material comes through, it, uh, it comes through and it's locked in this in this uh, plate and it's an air powered clutch so you turn on the air powered clutch and the clutch if we look at the other side there is a gear motor this whole take up assembly you can see there so there's a gear motor at the bottom lovejoy connection here uh, a pair of pillow block bearings with a shaft this is an air powered clutch so this is a air piston you can see the airline there when you open the valve back there it actually actuates this piston and puts pressure in here so this shaft only goes to here and then up here on the other side of the clutch we have another pair of bearings and another shaft that go to the take-up table so if you notice I can turn that table you see since there's no air on that clutch the uh, the rest of it is not spinning so the two are independent when you have pressure on it, it closes the, the clutch and then the motor actually activates, actuates the table. So let's back that up. Unfortunately, I cannot show you this in operation for obvious reasons, but um, it, is a, it is impressive to say. Uh, the, to say the least, it's impressive. Here you have a VFD. That VFD actually controls the spindle, the router spindle, which is what that is. And there is the machine. Thank you all for watching. And while you're here, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my future videos.